dear students good morning today in this second session of active and passive voice we are going to learn the active and passive forms of simple past past continuous and past perfect tense in the last class we have already learned the passive forms of the present tenses so today we are going to understand how to frame a sentences in simple past past continuous and uh, past perfect we will also come to know how to make it negative how to make it uh, interrogative and also we will deal with the passive forms of all these three tenses ready at first let us discuss simple past as you know a simple past denotes an action that started and finished in the past it is a um, a common uh, past tense which we usually use in day to day conversation <clears throat> this is the only tense where we use the second form of the verb remember this is the only tense where we use the second form of the verb the sentence structure of simple past is subject plus second form of the verb plus object let us take the same example of akash akash wrote a story so your wrote is the second form of the verb write so we write akash wrote a story subject plus v2 plus object observe that there is no direct helping verb used here in affirmative sentence let us see how to make it a passive as you know we want to interchange the uh, subject and object of the same sentence so we have to start with a, a story a story was written by akash recognize the change that happened in the tense wrote changes to was written that is the tense changes in act mean passive voice in simple past tense remember in simple present tense write changes to is written but in simple past wrote changes to was written so the formula here will be subject plus was or were plus v3 so a story a story was written by akash if it is plural if it is stories we should write stories were written by akash now let's change the same sentence into negative akash wrote a story just you understand wrote means did plus write did plus write is wrote do plus write is write does plus write is equal to writes so here wrote means did plus write so when we make to negative we want to bring this hidden helping verb did into light so we have to make it akash didn't write a story so subject plus did not plus v1 if subject is singular or uh, plural doesn't matter we should use did so akash didn't write a story so how to change to negative sorry passive same technique we have to use start with a story a story so didn't will change to was a story was not written by akash akash didn't write story changes to a story was not written by akash if it is plural akash didn't write stories then we have to use instead of was we have to use were stories were not written by akash now let's analyze how to make the same sentence into interrogative or question akash wrote a story as i told you wrote means did plus write you want to bring the helping verb did out of this word wrote and use it in the beginning of the sentence so it will be did akash write a story so it's an yes or no question did akash write a story the same sentence we can change to passive voice instead of did we have to use was was a story 
written by Akash. If it is plural, if it is stories, we have to use Did Akash write stories? We'll change to Were the stories written by Akash? In interrogative sentence, we also come across the WH questions. WH questions means the questions that start with which, what, where, when, how, who, these words. So, for example, why did Akash write stories? Why did Akash write stories? It's a interrogative WH question in simple past tense. When we change to passive voice, it will be the same question word. When we change to passive voice, we have to use the same WH question. Why were the stories written by Akash? If it is singular, we have to say, Why was a story written by Akash? Now let's understand the next sentence, past continuous. As you know, past continuous is used to denote a temporary activity in the past. For example, it was raining last night. Past continuous is also used to denote a temporary activity interrupted by a short action. For example, it was raining last night when you came. So it is a past continuous plus symbol past combination. Past continuous is also used to indicate two simultaneous activity activities which were going on in the past. For example, when I was studying, my sister was playing. So these are the three important usages of past continuous and as you know it is the, the uh, sentence structure or the formula of past continuous is subject plus was or were plus ing of the verb plus object. Now let's take the same example of Akash. Akash was writing a story. So was goes with the singular subject, were is used with the plural subject. As Akash is singular, we use was. Akash was writing a story. So when we change to passive voice, exchange the subject and object. So we have to start with a story. A story was being written by Akash. As I told you in the previous class, present continues and past continues. We have to use being plus V3. B-E-I-N-G plus V3 with the helping verbs. So, a story was being written by Akash. So, if it is plural, stories were being written by Akash. You can see, in both the sentence, the meaning is not changing. But in first sentence, in active voice, Akash, the subject is active. But in second sentence, Akash, the subject is passive. The a story gets more prominence in passive voice. Let's change the same sentence into negative past continuous negative Akash was not writing a story Akash was not writing a story so when we change a story was not being written by Akash the only change is not a story was not being written by Akash if it is plural stories stories were not being written by Akash. Now let's see the interrogative of past continuous. Interrogative sentence, as I told you, we have to bring the helping verb into beginning. Here the affirmative sentence is Akash was writing a story. To make it interrogative, we have to bring was to first. Was Akash writing a story? Was Akash writing a story? So when we change to passive, we have to use the same helping verb was as it is an S or no question. Was Next, we have to use the object, a story being written by Akash. Was a story being written by Akash. If it is plural, stories, we have to use the plural verb, helping verb, that is were, W-E-R-E, were. Were stories being written by Akash. Were stories being written by Akash. If it is WH question, why was Akash writing stories? We are using a WH question. Why was Akash writing stories? Use the same WH question word in the beginning in passive voice also. Why were the stories being written by Akash? 
why were the stories being written by akash as it is plural we have to use were dear students now let's move to the next and the last tense of today that is past perfect tense just understand uh, why do we use past perfect tense or when do we use past perfect tense we use past perfect tense to denote an action that happened before an another action so usually uh, we can't use past perfect directly in a sentence if you are using in a sentence there should be an another action in the same sentence for example before i reached the railway station the train had left so the action that happened first that is the leaving of the train should be indicated in past perfect tense what is happened after that the second event should be mentioned in the simple past in this sentence before i reached the railway station the train had left what is the incident happened first leaving of the train so we have you indicated in past perfect tense and what is happened next is indicated in simple past tense so the formula of the past perfect tense is subject plus had plus v3 plus object whether the sing subject is singular or plural doesn't matter we have to use the helping verb had h a d had plus v3 form now let's take the same example past perfect affirmative sentence akash had written a story akash had written a story in a change we have to interchange the subject and object a story had been written by akash so had changes to had been in past perfect we have discussed yesterday the previous class present perfect has or have plus v3 so in that sentence we have seen has written changes to has been written have written changes to have been written the same like here also had written changes to had been written so a story had been written by akash negative sentence let us analyze next akash had not written a story akash hadn't written a story when we change to passive a story had not been written by akash a story had not been written by akash now let's see make it interrogative sentence bring the helping verb first akash had written story changes to had akash written a story it's a question interrogative sentence when we change to passive voice we have to use the same helping verb had a story been written by akash had a story been written by akash if it is a wh question take an example how had akash written a story how had akash written a story use the same helping uh, question word how had a story been written by akash dear children you might have come across the usage of two had together for example somebody used to say i had had my meals before you i had had my meals before you so don't confuse it is very simple the word had has different meaning so had is used as a helping verb as well as a main verb so here had means taken take took taken that means have had had that means eaten that meaning is there so if somebody say i had had my meal means i had taken my meals somebody last you in present perfect also have you had your meal have you had your meal is nothing but have you taken your meals so don't confuse had means it is a helping verb in past perfect tense as well as it is a it's a main verb used instead of taken or eaten dear students today we have discussed already the three past tenses it is active and passive it's interrogative negative forms and it's passive forms i hope you understood the ideas very clearly try to make use of these kinds of sentences in day to day conversation so that it becomes a habit and what are the doubts you have about these 
uh, three tenses and its active and passive forms please let me know and the remaining uh, uh, active and passive forms that is symbol future and uh, future perfect we will discuss in the next class and uh, you just uh, hear this video two to three times and understand it better try to make few sentences of yourself and if you have doubt any please call me or just whatsapp me thank you